Now then, 28 years ago, when Molly was born, I knew that this day would come. When, I didn't know, but I knew it would happen at some point. So I've had all that time to prepare for this day. But if I'm really honest, nothing can prepare a, fa prepare a father for the day that he stands there as father of the bride. There are many stories that I could have told you today about Molly, but I was told a few weeks ago at a family curry night that this couldn't go on too long. <laughs> <laughs> and to be honest, I do tend to waffle a little bit. So uh, what I would like to share is how proud I am and how amazing it felt being able to walk you down the aisle today, Molly. You look so beautiful in your dress, as I'm sure everyone will agree. Molly, from the first moment I held you in my arms, I was so scared. <laughs> How could your mum and I look after this little bundle of joy? From that day, my life changed. I was your dad. For me, the key to being a dad is to give unconditional love, advice and support, encouraging you in everything you do, always believing in you, and most importantly, always being there for you when you need me and never letting you down. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for your part in helping me navigate my way through those years. <laughs> Without you and your brothers, I don't think I would be the dad or the man I am now. It's normal at this point to welcome the new son-in-law into the family, but Kirsty and I have always treated Ryan as part of the family from the moment Molly first brought him home. It was clear to us that Molly and Ryan had built a strong relationship and we're very happy together. Neither of you will ever be perfect, but you can be a perfect match for each other. A successful marriage is not about finding a person you can live with, but a person you can't live without, and I know that you found each other. Molly, I promise to love you as my wife and as my best friend. To support you through good times and bad. To respect and cherish you and to share life with you. These promises I make to you today and for the rest of my life. <laughs> Brian, I promise to love you as my husband and my best friend to support you through good times and bad, to respect and cherish you, and to share life with you. These promises I make to you today, and for the rest of my life. Marriage is a promise which you have both taken, and has been made in the hearts of two people who love one another. This is my great privilege to declare that you are now husband and wife, and you may share a kiss. Can I please introduce you all to my new wife, Mrs. Molly Gay? As most of you are aware, me and Ma have been together since school. This day has probably been a long time coming for a lot of, a lot of you, including Ma. I've lost count of the amount of times we've been told you're next or you'll be down on one knee soon, so I'm glad I can finally stop and we can move on to someone else. <laughs> Ma, you never cease to amaze me how resilient and strong you are throughout the time we've been together. 
we have shared some silent difficult times as a couple. I invite you, I don't know where I would be. You look beautiful today and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. And I hope I make you as happy as you make me every day. So can we all please stand again? To my new wife, Mrs. Molly Gay. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Billy and I have the honour to stand before you as Ryan's best man. For those of you that do know me, we know I need this before I start. <laughs> I've known Ryan for over 20 years now and growing him up through football has been a journey filled with amazing memories. From starting with Wurton Rovers from the age of seven to finishing at the Mighty Chili Chargers at 24. <laughs> Sally and Paul, I would like to say how proud you should be of the man you have raised. A few years back I went through some very bad times and mine was the first person there for me and the last person to make sure I was okay. I know a lot of others will agree with me on this but you're the nicest man I know. You would do anything for anyone even at your own expense. <laughs> I've known Ryan and Molly for a long time and it's been a 12 year incredible journey that has eventually brought us to this day today in this amazing venue. If you are around them, you can see they bring the best out of each other and it's clear that the love they have for each other is truly something special. I couldn't ask for my best mate to be married a better person, I mean that. Finally, I would like to do one final toast of the day. Today has been a celebration for love, friendships and new beginnings. Let us toast to the memories we have created today and a bright future that we that awaits for in Molly. Cheers. Yeah.